So why, why do women not take responsibility in the relationship? Guys coming through my program, they're, they're always complaining about this, this main thing. And really, if I look at the comments on YouTube, we'll see this as well, where men have a hard time finding any woman at all that'll take responsibility. And I found this to be true too, with the exception of my wife. My wife tends to have a lot of introspection and a lot of accountability to her. But I've seen this to be true most of the time. And I've got a couple of theories as to why this is. First one is I think that women are just trained to not take responsibility. In other words, if anything's wrong in their life, it's usually the man's fault. And so this puts this whole external locus of control for the woman, right? External locus of control meaning like stuff happens to me in life. I don't have agency to make changes in the world. The world just happens to me. So if a woman gets with a guy and she says, hey, I'm not in love with him anymore. It must be his fault. I've just fallen out of love with him. He's not doing the right thing anymore versus going within and trying to see within yourself, like what is it that made me fall out of love with him? And how, where is this disconnect and how can we come together as a couple to actually be connected again? And so women are trained generally to just look at the man to solve the problems. And you'll see this all throughout society. And it's kind of a weird thing too, because at the same time, they're also told they should be a strong, independent woman. They shouldn't rely on a man for anything. But at the same time, they're also, they also feel like they want to rely on a guy. They've been grown up to rely on men for everything, right? If something needs to be fixed, if they get into a pickle at work or anything else, there's so many that just look at men to solve their problems. And guys feed into this too, right? They feed into this whole notion of like, well, if I, if I want to get her, I have to impress her and I have to do things for her and I have to have all this performance-based love mindset in order to get what I want. And so a lot of women will just fall into that. They'll, they'll play into that game as opposed to standing up and having their own autonomy. And the second, the second reason is a lot of people just play victim. And for women, this is usually the biggest and easiest manipulation tactic is just to play victim. Like, oh, I can't help it. Things are happening to me in the world. Again, external locus of control. Things are happening to me in my life. I, you know, you said this to me and you made me angry. Or you made me upset or I'm just not attracted to this. And it's just like, well, where are you taking responsibility for yourself and what's going to happen in your life? And she comes to expect that men will serve her if all she has to do is play a victim. And so if she's playing this victim game, then obviously nothing's ever gonna change the relationship. She's just gonna play this manipulation tactic and the guy will just do the thing. But you see the problems with like Will Smith and his ex-wife or whatever it is, Jada Pinkett Smith, where it's just this toxic woman who's just constantly playing victim and oppressing her guy, but he, he lets that happen. He doesn't, he doesn't stand up for himself. Or you'll see like the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp thing, right? This, this thing of this toxic femininity just manipulating the guy into trying to perform more and more and more for her love and affection, but he'll never get it. It's always just out of reach. And so this playing the victim is usually the, the card that they use to do this. And the third one, which is really kind of an interesting thing, when guys tend to tend more towards the logic and the woman tends more towards the emotional. So there's this emotional filter that comes through everything. And I find that this emotional filter really says, hey, do I matter when you're talking to me? And do I matter when, when like, so if I'm talking to you, the first filter you would say is like, well, do I matter? The way the tone, the way he's bringing the energy, do I matter to this person? Whereas with a guy, the guy's gonna look at what you say logically first before he worries about, do I matter? And that might even come up in the whole grand scheme of like trying to ascertain what's going on in the conversation. So in other words, it's gonna be this emotional issue. So if you get angry and you get upset at her and you get angry and you yell or you raise your voice, what she's gonna do is say, hey, oh, I obviously don't matter to him. He can talk to me this way. And so you never actually get to the root cause. You never actually get to the issue. And then if you can get through that filter, the second one is, hey, how do I lead him into a place where he's feeling better, right? The thing that a woman would want you to do, she's doing to you. And for guys, it's like really weird. Like emotionally, if I'm not emotionally invested, that's not an issue, that doesn't make any sense. Like just because I'm angry about something doesn't make the problem go away, right? If I got a flat tire and she's like, well, he's just angry about the flat tire. If I can make him feel better, then all the problems will go away. It's like, and the guy's thinking, no, the problem will go away and the flat tire gets fixed. Let's get the fucking flat tire fixed and I'll feel better. And so women don't necessarily see this. It's like the guy just needs a solution to the problem. And then he'll feel better. He'll like just, everything will go away. And so you play this game of either this deflection of, hey, I can't believe you're talking to me this way. Or how do I get him to feel better versus actually solving the problem? And this is why you have these round and round conversations all the time. And you'll have these round and round conversations and you never actually get to the root. And the guy's just like, can you just take ownership of it? Can you just say, I'm sorry? Can you just look within and say, hey, look, I did this. Can you please just not do that again? 
and show me that you're not going to do it again. Show me that you care. Show me that you actually give a shit about what I'm saying. And so this is the problem. And this is why when a guy comes to her and says, hey, I need this change or done or whatever, she'll say, oh, he's just, he's just not accepting me for who I am. He's not doing what I, he's not really loving me and I don't like the way he's approaching me. So that must mean that he doesn't love me and that he's a jerk and all this stuff when really he's just like, hey, let's just solve this problem and then I'll cool the fuck off. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future.